Is this a congrat <laughs> for a point? <laughs> okay. I take it, yeah. Yeah, thank you. I think uh, we saw a, a very intense game, two different halves against a very strong side. We had uh, during the week some issues with injuries um, and that made us a little bit difficult to prepare for it without a right back. It's quite tough. We tried something in the first half in the beginning, what didn't really work. So we had a plan B in the pocket. So we took this one out and it worked much better. Uh, still not everything to defend against this group, but they are so so strong on the ball and so tough to defend. You need a little bit of luck and, and, and a very good commitment in the back. And with the back five, it was a little bit easier then. Um, um, still try to play football in the first half. Still try to be brave. <laughs> With some ball losing, yeah, this is normal. But um, in the halftime, we showed them how we should do it better and uh, didn't change the group. I wanted to give them another chance to, to make it better, to stay brave. And uh, I think in the second half, you could feel that we were getting better and, and played better football. And, and uh, the goal was, was fantastic after the, for me, decisive scene with, with Moy making the big save against, against uh, Gabriel Jesus. For me, he was he was the player of the of a match, our player of a match, more because when you put him here on the wing back position suddenly, and uh, I think I, I don't know how many positions he has played so far in this in this in this team since I'm here, but he's you can trust him everywhere. And when he does what he did today with his discipline, with his effort, this is amazing for me to watch. With two and both wing backs were then responsible for the equalizer where they were going, Rumer. And Moe, and then, yeah, f fantastic pass and Stewie, fantastic finish. And in the end, you had the feeling that uh, we had them a little bit in the ropes uh, and they were having 24 hours less to recover than we. It's, I think maybe that was the reason that we had in the end more in the tank and could, could push a little bit harder. We were really fresh then and tried to, to, to go for the, for the winning goal yeah, with, with Sam and with the young lads and Theo, first time in, in the, on the pitch. And, and Shay, you could feel that he was not really f ready for, for the game today, but I, I still wanted to have him on the pitch in the end. And then it was, it was a, a tough fight until the last minute, yes, good. Did the game in some ways just sum up your tenure and how the first 10, 15 minutes you were off at the pace, you were having a few tactical issues, and then towards the end you and the team pushing on you know, with the momentum? Yes, everything uh, worked well in the second half and it was uh, a much better performance and uh, I think they were running out of, of ideas what they should do against us and then we had our momentum and then you have to take it and this was uh, the equaliser and, and then in the end also a few good counterattacks where we can maybe take more out of it. Hi Ralph, um, you mentioned some of those players there that maybe haven't had like, much chance, Walcott his first minutes of the season, <laughs> Yanko's first start as well. Obviously, with injuries and things like that, you had to change the team. But just how pleased are you with those players that have come in and delivered in a massive game for you guys? Very pleased. Um, we are never complaining about it. Uh, we always try to stay positive and concentrating on the, on the guys there on the pitch. And this is what they deserve. They deserve the trust. And uh, you have to know that, OK, some things are not working perfectly immediately, but uh, the longer the game goes, you could feel that they're coming in the game. And I think Lianco did, did uh, a very nasty job today as a, as, as, as a defender, as a wing back, uh, as a fullback. He had a little bit more problems, but then he, when he was coming a little more inside, it was easier for him. And uh, he did a good job. And can I just check if you know anything more about Carl Walker Peters' injury? Do you know if it's um, not yet? Uh, but uh, yeah, we will have to wait until next week where we have another scan and then we know it. Thank you. Yeah, Ralph, I mean, obviously a big result today, a big five points this week. I mean, how impressed are you with this team's spirit after you know losing players a few weeks ago, losing uh, Kyle and Armel this week, and then coming out and getting these huge five points? Very proud because uh, I, th I saw a team this week uh, fighting for this club, for this, for this, for these games, and and for the results. And you see, we took five points and still 15th in the table. So you know how how tough the league is. And uh, but uh, I'm not scared because I see what we can do and uh, how resilient we can be. And this was for me a very very important statement today. Also against the top of the league, coming back and not being impressed, even if there is not everything to defend, but. Keep on going, stay brave, be on the front foot, set them on the back foot and and, and uh, if you need to press them, do it. And uh, I think as soon as we have found the right shape to do it, uh, you could see the, the identity we have as a, as, a, as a team, as a club and, and uh, I think this is what the people want to see here.
Mm, absolutely. I mean, I think you could tell from the stadium that everyone was loving that, that, that spirit, that fight, and that must be pretty emotional to see everyone sort of together like this today. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, this, this game is now uh, uh, fantastic to watch. I mean, uh, there is a reason why the Premier League is so is so famous in the world because the intensity of the games and the the quality you see there is is, is absolutely impressive to watch yeah? and this is this is what you what you can feel sometimes from outside that that you really think oh how should we defend this it was not possible and they're so quick and so so good players there so really really impressive to see and just lastly, I mean, it looked like in the second half, at least, the Romain Perot and Moy Elianusi played hugely important roles. It seemed like Perot was getting really high up the pitch and Elianusi maybe slightly deeper. I mean, what was the thinking about how they played today? Yeah, we, we tried to build up with 3-3-4 three, three, and, and uh, sending minimum one player left very high on the last line and uh, this was exactly how the, the goal happened and how we made the equaliser because they have a very high line and uh, when you are in the first line where we build up a little bit braver and finding better solutions then it can be a moment where we can stretch them and we can hurt them and I think this was in the first half we tried it also but the positioning was not always right and this is what we showed them in the first in the second in the, in the, in the half time and then in the second half it was a little bit better. Okay. Um, yeah. Raph, you, you mentioned Arsenal having one less day uh, to prepare. I just wonder, Mikel's kind of not talking too much about the Thursday, Sunday, but for you, going in at half time, did you sense that they would fade? And have you seen signs over? In the last couple of weeks that they would. I think it's not a topic for them because they know that they have the quality normally to control games better but we, we try to not let them control in the second half so much and, and I think the first mistake uh, from I think uh, Saliba when he wanted to play to, to um, Gabriel when we had the ball win with, 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 uh, um, uh, with Arma I think it was the moment where we also thought okay now we can go and now we can go a little bit earlier and give them a little bit more pressure and then you need a situation, as I said, with Moy, where you have one time been open and, and concede a counter-attack and uh, he make a big save uh, because when you concede the second goal, the game is gone. But uh, braveness would sometimes, very often you, you get the reward when you are brave. Okay, thank you very much, guys. Thanks a lot. Appreciate See you. It.